नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल टुडे अगेन आई टॉक अबाउट मनरेगा लेट्स गेट राइट इनटू द शो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट यू सी अ लॉट ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ माय व्यूअर्स मे बी काइंड ऑफ बोर्ड वाचिंग मनरेगा 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 ऑल द टाइम आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई आई कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड दैट but the fact is i somehow cannot stop myself from talking about this i cannot stop myself from talking about this is because it is imperative that the urban audience urban india knows what is going on in rural india urban india empathizes with rural poverty and rural unemployment i my effort is to ensure that urban india understands this because a lot of misinformation is floating a lot of wrong ideas are given to us completely wrong ideas what i try to i'm trying to do actually is to kind of give you facts and figures so that i can correct these ideas based on the facts and figures not on my understanding or my evaluation or my analysis based on pure facts and figures i would like to correct those those misinformation number 1 number 2 You see, whenever you have heard about projects, big projects, you know now we are talking about Dharavi project in Mumbai, Maharashtra, big projects. Where are all these big projects happening? All these big projects are happening in the cities. And who are all these big projects uh, given to? Big projects are given to big companies. So big companies gets big projects, and to do those big projects, those big companies employ a lot of technology technology more than people of course they employ people also but people from where people from urban india so what really happens if a rural youth has to survive has to ensure that he feeds his parents he or she has to come to urban india live among the slums work for two square meals and send some money home if he can afford to this is the status and then we talk about migration then we say kyu gaon kyu chhod rahe ho why i have seen people give lectures on why one should not leave their 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 village you know how beautiful the village is how bountiful the village is how green the village is how good are khane ko nahi hai yaar there is no food in the village and that's why projects like manrega is so important and that's why though one doesn't get views like i always tell you one may not even you know but i still want to talk about it and the reason i i, I bring this topic to you today is that in the 3 years since the pandemic the amount of work in rural job guarantees program has declined every financial year from 38.9 million percent days in 2021 to 28 million in 2023 that is so far this is according to the rural development ministry what will these people do what work do they have in their villages are you building buildings there are you building skyscrapers there are you building setus there are you building highways there are you building mahamargs there are you so what will these people do let me give you some more details during the same period the total number of household who got full 100 days of work in a financial year has fallen by a whopping 61% 61% in 2020 21 a year when flagship employment scheme was a lifeline for millions of workers 7.19 million household got 100 days of work ministry data this is according to the ministry data in 2023 24 so far only 2.75 million household managed to utilize the full quota of stipulated under law rural employment guarantee scheme this is your guarantee 2021 you had 7.19 million 2023 24 till now we've just managed to give 2.75 million household not individual household job which means we've yet to give 
फाइव मिलियन हाउस होल्ड्स जॉब एंड माइंड यू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड नेक्स्ट मंथ दिस इज फेब्रुवरी इन नेक्स्ट थर्टी डेज इट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च एंड ऑफ स्टोरी वी हैव हार्डली अचीव हाफ ऑफ वॉट वी डिड लास्ट ईयर दिस इज द स्टेटस वेयर विल दे गो गेट मनी फ्रॉम वेयर इज द मनी गोन टू कम फ्रॉम I'm going to give you some more data. I'm going to give you some more statistics. You see, the financial year 2022-23 got allocated 60,000 crores of Mandrega budget estimates. This is 33 percent lower, 33 percent lower than financial year 22-23 revised estimate, which were 89,400 crore and 18 percent lower than financial year 22-23. Which was seventy three thousand crores. Zahir si baat hai. It is obvious that people household will not get money. Household will not get money because you don't have money. You have not given money. You have not paid money to the state governments to 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 employ households, to employ rural poor, to give to ensure that they implement rural guarantee scheme. Mandrega stands for what? Mandrega stands for Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. Guarantee scheme. And this is the status of the guarantee scheme. Let's go further. I'll take you through some more st statistics. You see, despite increase in demand of, for work in financial year 2023-24. Government of India allocated sixty thousand crores for Mandrega. Like I told you, this is eighteen percent lower than the budget estimates and thirty-three percent lower than the previous year's actual estimates. In fact, the current allocation of the scheme is lower than financial year two thousand nineteen two thousand twenty. Mind you, this is pre pre pandemic, where the revised estimate is fifteen percent lower. Now you tell me. Your budgets are lower. Your estimates are low. The the money you paid is low. कहाँ से job मिलेगा यार? Where are you going to get the jobs from? So therefore, when I question, when we are splurging money on on G20 summits, when we are splurging money on haircuts to super rich billionaires, when they are not able to pay for their loans to the bank, am I wrong? Am I wrong? a super billionaire gets haircuts and a and a farmer who doesn't have two square meals doesn't get his job job guarantee which is supposed to be what the government is supposed to do he doesn't get that how fair is that how fair is that let me take you through some more uh, data now mandrega allocations were 33% lesser in 2022 23 look at how mandrega deployment was starting 2017 2018 in 2017 2018 mandrega was 55000 crores the government deployed 55000 crores 2018 19 the government deployed 61084 crores 2019 20 the government deployed 71002 crores 2000 2021 the government deployed 111500 crores then the government deployed 98000 crores then the government went down to 84000 crores now the government has come down further to 60000 crores what makes the government go down on mandrega when the need for employment is more why is the mandrega budget going down now again like i have discussed with you before the governments are corrupt are so if the state government are corrupt who will pay for it the poor farmers the poor rural uh, uh, laborers are they going to pay for it because your state governments are corrupt central government will not give money because state governments are corrupt what logic is that okay let me take you through some more uh, definition let me take you to some more figures 20 out of 28 states has already spent more than their available funds till january 4th 2023 now let's talk just 2023 i'm not going to compare 2020 uh, 122 the, the the data is available on your screen right now in 2023 up to 4th of jan okay we have spent 137% madhya pradesh has spent 137% chhattisgarh has spent 122% tamil nadu has spent 136% bihar has spent 122% all of this more than the allocated budget 122% more than the allocated budget every state every state like i said 20 uh, out of 28 states have spent more than the allocated budget which means what which means your allocated budget is not sufficient your budget allocation is not sufficient it may look good in your budget speech but when it comes to actual implementation it is not sufficient 
This is what it talks about. Let me take you through some more figures. Because nothing talks better than figures. And that's precisely why I like talking figures to you. Now, let me talk to you about pending wages liability accounted for 8% of the total payment due till 4th of January. Now, there is one thing about payment for uh, Mandrega. Mandrega payment means payment for material that is procured for Mandrega. Now you have payment for wages. So if you go to see in 2018, the total amount that was pending for wages was 153 crores. 1920, 197 crores. 2021, 434 crores. 21, 22, 653 crores. 22, 23 till 4th of Jan, 690 crores. The point that I'm trying to make is that not only that you are not spending on Manrega, which means, you know, whatever development material that you require for the workers to work, you are not giving wages. And that graph is just going up and it, it almost amounts to 8% of the total wages pending for Manrega, a total amount pending for Manrega rather. Let's go further. I'll take you through some more detail. Let us talk about another fact. 14 out of 20 large states paid less than their notified wage rates. See, first of all, you are not following the word guarantee because people are not getting the jobs. Now you are not even following the wages that is supposed to be given. 14 out of 20 states paid less than their notified wage rate, which means Haryana that is supposed to be paying 331 rupees per day paid 327 rupees per day. Maharashtra, which is supposed to pay 256 rupees per day paid 246 rupees per day. And Rajasthan, which is supposed to pay 231 rupees per day paid 194 rupees per day. This is how it is. So what am I saying? A, you are not offering job. B, you are not paying for the material. C, you are not paying for wages even if you are offered job. D, what you are offering is lesser than what is allocated. What you are offering is lesser than what is allocated and uh, what is notified wage rate. So in every form, every way, you, you are actually messing with Manrega. You are messing with possibly the only other alternative source if farming doesn't work of rural India. I'll take you through some more uh, data. Average daily wage rate under Manrega were lower than the average daily wage rate received by non-agricultural labor in rural areas. So, ab or ek aspect. You see, it is not that Manrega labor or Manrega money is very high. It is possibly the lowest. It is lower than other rural wages, other rural labors. Now, the fact remains that you will ask then why don't they do the other work? The point is there is no other work available. There is no other work available. That is the difference between rural India and urban India. Development happens in urban India. Work available in urban India. No development is happening in rural India. No con in construction is happening in rural India. No infrastructure is developed in rural India like the way it is developed in urban India. So no work in rural India. So obviously what you see on your screen is FY 2021, 201 rupees is what an average wage paid under Manrega is, rupees in day that is, and 315 rupees is what an average wage received by a non-agricultural male labor in rural India. 201 rupees kida, 315 rupees kida, there's a huge difference. Likewise uh, in 2021, 22 and likewise in 2022. 223 till October 22 where uh, Mandrega 219 and uh, others getting 344 rupees. So, paise bhi kam, agar mila to. That is if you get the money, the money is less. That is you get the money if you get the job. Job is also less. So, no job, therefore no money and if you get all of this, the money is still very less than what is the average. Now, this is the state. Let's go with some more details. You see, the, one of the reasons why uh, uh, Manrega payments are delayed is because of again system failures. See, you get something called as FTO. FTO is a fund transfer order. Once the job is done, there is an FTO that is produced. And that FTO ensures that the fund is transferred and the person gets the money directly to his bank, which is a fabulous system. That is very good because you see, there is no middleman, there is no robbing money, there is no pilfering money. All that doesn't happen. But the fact is, bhaiya, all of this system to work, it is not working. Therefore, there is delay in payment. While according to the rule, you are supposed to pay compensation. You are supposed to pay some amount of compensation to the, to the workers if the money is delayed. Even that, if you don't get compensation, 
you are not getting money where are you going to get the compensation from so these are factors that are really 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 harming uh, uh, mandrega and the real reason i tell you and before i end i want to give you one more statistics 80 lakh households that had demanded work has not received employment as on 4th of january 2023 i spoke about this i wanted to graphically show it to you this is how it looks 80 lakh households have not got work though they have demanded uh, work and west bengal provided employment to most of the household who demanded work the highest unmet demand is from haryana now this is very interesting west bengal incidentally has given 97 percent people who demanded for work they have provided work Though money is a big question mark, but they have provided work. Okay. And a state like Haryana, only 65% people, only 65% people who demanded for work were provided uh, with work. This is how that graph looks. So overall, what I intended to do is give you a complete picture of what Mandrega is so that you, we all understand what Mandrega is and what they are facing. I repeat before I end. You see, one of the most volatile professions one of the most uncertain profession in this world is farming, is agriculture. You see, the only way we can help our farmers, our brothers and sisters in rural India is by ensuring they have an alternative profession, is by ensuring they get some kind of a guarantee. I'm not saying 365 days, at least 400 days, some kind of a guarantee for an alternative profession, alternative job, alternative income. This will help them to balance the uncertainty in agricultural income that goes haywire. That's the reason why I sit here and talk about Mandrega whenever I get an opportunity, whenever I get an opportunity, because this is one scheme that should work. This is one scheme that will make a difference to our farmers. This is one scheme that will ensure that uh, urban migration is, 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 is reduced. This is one scheme that will ensure that there is prosperity in our, in rural India. This is one scheme that will end that divide which we have of two India, where you have the urban rich India and the rural poor India. This is one that will end that divide. This is one scheme that will not technically reduce any divide between the super rich and the super poor because that divide is too huge. But at least you will ensure that the poor is fed with. They have enough to live. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? That's my question to the government tonight and uh, I hope and with folded hands I say please do something about Mandrega. Please ensure that Mandrega payments are made. Please focus on Mandrega. Please deploy funds for Mandrega. Please ensure that Mandrega payments are made. Till I see you next time. It's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.